heavy consequences for Prince Frederick of Denmark, which entails his photos with Genevieve Casanova. A week ago, Lecturer's Magazine caused a huge media outcry with the photos of Prince Frederick of Denmark, 55 years old, and Genevieve Casanova, 47 years old. It was one of the most important news not only on the national scene but also internationally because of the protagonists featured in it. Now the serious and severe consequences that these images have had on the future heir to the Danish crown have come to light. Luis Pliego, director of Lecturer's Magazine, visited the set of Tarde R. Ware, in addition to talking about the success of last week's cover, he also wanted to give an overview of everything that the exclusive edition provided entailed. In fact, in the magazine that will be released next Wednesday, some of these reasons will be revealed in its pages, such as the heritage of the Mexican woman who should be able to lead the standard of living that she has implications of the photos of Federico and Genevieve Casanova. Luis told Telecinco about the international impact the publication of the images has had. This week I spoke to many Danish journalists. They repeated the latest cover story, he began. They tell me that the separation of Mary and Federico has already happened de facto, he says. By doing so, they confirmed that they had already broken up, although it had not been officially done. In fact, she has made several statements in which she said that they are going toward the same goal, but in different ways, Pliego added on this topic. He went on to reveal the serious implications that the publication of the photos had for the heir as it affects his future while ruling the Scandinavian country. For his accession to the throne, Margaret's abdication was already being prepared, but all this stopped him, he reported. Once again, the subject of Federico and Mary's relationship was touched on the Telecinco program. This is a couple that is no longer a couple, they are not married, you must quickly make them kings, because you cannot leave them in this state, said Pligo at the meeting. This is something that the palace already knew about and that they were going to do. But because of this scandal they can't make him king immediately as they planned, Luis explains about the consequences, the economic situation of Genevieve Casanova. The magazine lecturers, this coming Wednesday, will devote several pages to the economic situation of the former Catano Martinez de Arujo. Thus, from the next issue of the magazine, Pligo has shared more than savory details about how the former MasterChef celebrity contestant manages to lead the lifestyle she does and how she socializes with such important and prominent personalities in Europe, society. Tomorrow we will present the legacy of Genevieve Casanova in Lecturer's Magazine. He has known he has two companies and last filed accounts in 2016. In all these years, he had no income, or at least he did not declare it. Companies are required to declare and she didn't. This is a bit of a contrast to the lavish life she leads, she goes on hunts whose registration costs 100,000 euros. Obviously, she's been invited. Who invites her? Asked the director of the aforementioned publication, the Danish press wondered, where does he get the money to socialize in these spheres? Catano pays for the house where Federico slept overnight. In 2016, just two years after the death of the Duchess, she announced an asset value of 300,000 euros, which is easily deductible from the inheritance she leaves directly to her children after Catano's death. What follows is nothing more. From there, Catano gives her a pension to move in these areas, commented Luis Pliego on Telecinco's afternoon program. Images of Frederick of Denmark and Genevieve Casanova Throughout this week, nothing else has been talked about in our country or abroad, and the proof is the questions that the Danish press has asked Luis Pliego about the event. For this reason, next Wednesday Lecturer's Magazine will show all the exclusive footage of Federico and Genevieve walking through the streets of Madrid until the moment they head to the Mexican woman's house, both Federico and Genevieve were photographed in the most recognizable places of the Spanish capital. First, they strolled through El Retiro Park accompanied by two members of the Danish royal family team. Later they went to a kiosk in Corral de la Momeria, and then went to the house of Genevieve, from which the prince left only the next day at 8 a.m. As we have seen, the former participant of the program Masked Singer, guess who sings even communicates with the heirs to the thrones of European monarchies. 
According to Luis Pliego at Tardar, where he put forward some hints about this savory new information, Genevieve will not currently have any assets. Something very strange considering the high standard of living he is used to, all these years he had no income or at least he didn't declare it. Companies are required to declare and she didn't. This is a bit of a contrast to the luxurious life she leads, she goes on hunts where registration costs 100,000 euros. Obviously, she's been invited. Who invites her? Asks a journalist who has been in contact with numerous Danish journalists to also find out all the details of what prompted the pictures with the monarch. The Danish press asks, where does he get the money to socialize in these areas? The rent for the house where Federico spent the night was paid by Catano. In 2016, just two years after the death of the Duchess, he announced an asset value of 300,000 euros, from which it is easy to conclude that it is from the inheritance that he leaves directly to his children when Catano dies. Their Catano is given a pension so that she can move in these areas, says Luis. Luis also told Telecinco's afternoon program that he had contacted the international press to find out how the photos of his monarch with Genevieve made it to the country's crown. No sweat a media earthquake they didn't expect. I spoke to many Danish journalists this week. They repeated the latest version. They tell me that Maria's actual separation from Denmark and Federico is now over. In fact, she has made several statements in which she said that they are going towards the same goal but by different paths. Margarita's abdication was already in preparation for his accession to the throne. But all that stopped him, says the interlocutor, who understands that the love story of the heir to the throne and his wife is already more than broken. They are a couple that is no longer a couple, it's not a marriage, you have to make them kings quickly because you can't leave them like that. This is something the palace already knew about and what they were going to do, but because of this scandal they cannot make him king immediately as they planned, he adds about Queen Margaret's possible abdication so that her son can become king.